I said, so that 2004 team, I said, I said, we're going to go with that year, you know, as far as with the guys on that team being the age that we were and not just no prime. Because I told him, I said, for sure, hands down, if that team was in the prime against y'all and y'all prime, for sure y'all couldn't f*** us. We have an NBA record that will never be broken. What's that? When we kept, I think it was either six or seven teams under 70 points in this, in this scoring era. Yeah, that never get broke. That will never get broken again. We were defense. We hung our hat on defense. We would have beat the out of them. What up, YouTube? It's your boy, So Crazy TV, back with another video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell for more videos. In this video, we got Rasheed Wallace and Draymond Green, man. They've been going back and forth for a couple days now about the 04 Pistons and the 2017 Warriors. If they faced off in the NBA Finals, who would win? Rasheed Wallace, he talking all that smack to Draymond. Draymond responding back. Yeah, I got a couple of videos for you guys, man. You know how we do it on this channel. I appreciate y'all and I love y'all. We on the road to 5,000 subscribers on YouTube, man. Your boy is back. Let's get it, man. And don't forget to donate to the channel. The link is in the description. I appreciate y'all and I love y'all, man. Let's get on with the video. We're just home with the Detroit Pistons. Y'all lost to the Pistons in 04. And by the way, them my big bros. I love them. I respect them. But, like, they scored 70 points a game. We would have mopped them. You would have mopped them too? They scored 70 points. Let me see. One of y'all games was, like, 70 to 67. Yeah, final. I didn't. I didn't. That's insane. We have an NBA record that will never be broken. What's that? When we kept... I think it was either six or seven teams under 70 points in this, in this scoring era. Yeah, that never get broke. That will never get broken again. We were defense. We hung our hat on defense. We would have beat the shit out of them. He said this the other day on him and Shaq's podcast. We would have beat the shit out of them because for the simple fact, they couldn't match up with us at any position. So y'all heard Draymond, man. He started this. He went on the big podcast with Shaq. He went on that podcast and talked about how the 2017 Warriors would beat the 04 Pistons. Rasheed Wallace heard that and responded. Y'all heard what he said, man. He said they would beat the ish out of them, man. And the 04 Pistons, they hung their hats on defense, man. They played defense. They locked up. They clamped up. They had Big Ben down low. So you know they came with the defense. Now. Rasheed Wallace doesn't care, man. Old rules, new rules. He don't care. He feels like they would win. And he said they have matchup problems on every position. The Warriors have matchup problems against the 04 Pistons. That's what Rasheed Wallace said. Now, let's get to what Draymond Green said. Uh, this, this next conversation is a fun one for me. Obviously, growing up in the state of Michigan, obviously having the utmost respect and love for my big homies, my OGs. My OGs, my brothers, my big bros, Chance, She, Tay, Ben, Rip. You know, uh, she come out and she says, we would have smacked the 2017 Warriors. Blah, blah, blah. And here's why. Steph can't guard. We can match up with them. Draymond's too small. I've heard that my whole life. 40s, things later. Still ain't been proven yet. Um, ben is blah, blah, blah. And like, this is an interesting one. Number one, there's a 0% chance that 04 team can beat us. To sit and call out the champs, like the dynasty, that one was incredible. But we all know how hard it is and how good you got to be to do it again. And quite frankly, the OGs wasn't good enough to do it again. They was good enough to do the Boston, you know, get to the conference finals again and again and again and again and again, and we loved it. They was good enough to do the Boston. But they couldn't do, they couldn't do what the Dubs did. It's a reason for that. It's a reason for that. They couldn't do it again and again and again. Number one, a young LeBron James came about. I, I watched that game. I was, was I at that game? I think I was there. When Braun went for, what, 37 straight or 33 straight or something of that nature and just, like, walked the Pistons down himself? I mean, quite frankly, 
this championship ring at least. I had to go through LeBron. For two of the other ones. I had to go through LeBron. LeBron single-handedly destroyed our Pistons. Never going to disrespect my OGs, but she is tripping. Love the big homie, Chance. But Chance can't, Chance can't play with Steph. Like, Chance, all-star, great player, Hall of Famer, by the way. Congrats, big bro, again. Um, but it's levels. Steph's one of the GOATs. GOAT. You hear me? GOAT. Chance can't play with Steph. All right, Dean. Rip. Rip was absolutely amazing, by the way. Still looking forward to Rip getting that Hall of Fame call. I think it's well-deserved. I think it will happen. Clay is happening. <laughs> it's going to happen. Rip, what Rip did coming off screens in the mid-range and all that stuff was beautiful. Rip Tracy wasn't like that. Clay's one of the best ever to shoot the basketball. So what Rip was doing coming off screens, Clay mastered that plus more plus from distance. Way more dynamic. I'll give you 60 and three quarters. 60. Ding. Dubs. KD and Tay. Tay was a great defender, man. Incredible. We going KD. No need to keep talking. Ding, next. Me. And Rasheed Wallace. Rasheed is actually one of the most skilled players to play in the NBA. And I know she don't get the credit. Rasheed Wallace is one of the most talented, skilled players to ever grace the NBA. Bar none. No debating that. I'm not going to debate it because I actually believe and was able to watch she, like, skill level on another planet. But, like, sometimes she was the first option on that team. Sometimes he was the fourth option. You're not going to be the first option here because that just ain't flying. Like, you ain't just getting, oh, he too small. Stop it. Number one, you got to move them feet. She can't move his feet. She playing Air Force One, like hot tops. Unstrapped. Like, that's because ain't nobody making you move, bro. Like, you got to move. Like, in this game, tomorrow don't matter the rules. No, they matter. Because in this game, you got to move your feet. And them Air Force Ones don't move. You got to move. Like, you got to actually come up and guard. We're going to torture she. She the weak link on the defensive end, by the way. And then we get to Ben. Ben is Ben. Ben going to do what Ben do. But Ben got to come up about that drop, too. You put in these actions. You can't just bully us, Ben. We moving. <laughs> you got to move. Them guys want moving, man. You go watch them games. 69 to 66 final. Like, what? 71 to 64. What? That's not flow. Well, we play defense. Man, we play defense too. The rules are different. The game is faster. The game is better. But stop it. That's ridiculous. Come on, she. There y'all have it, man. Draymond Green with a lengthy response to Rasheed Wallace, man. Draymond Green wasn't having it, man. He spoke facts. He spoke facts, man. Rasheed Wallace going to have to guard. Ben Wallace going to have to guard. Chauncey is going to have to guard Steph. Rip is going to have to guard Clay. Tayshawn Prince is going to have to guard KD. Now, y'all seen the matchups that Draymond Green brought up, man. The whole starting five. He broke it down for y'all. And on top of that, Draymond Green is standing on business, bro. 2017 Warriors, one of the greatest teams ever assembled. We know this, man. You know, the Warriors won four championships. They won two with KD, you know. And Draymond Green brought up a good point, man. The 04 Pistons, right? They got beat by young LeBron James, man. 
Remember when LeBron James scored the last like 30 points or so for the Cleveland Cavaliers in that 2007 Eastern Conference Finals? Y'all forgot. Y'all forgot that, bro. Now the Pistons, they did get dismantled by a young LeBron James. That is a fact. And Draymond Green also brought up that the Pistons, they averaged 70 points, bro. Like games were so low, 65 to 69. 70 to 65. He's speaking facts, bro. Draymond Green has some great points, bro. He has some great points. Now we're going to close with Rasheed Wallace. He's going to respond to Draymond Green. Nobody can outshoot Steph, and nobody can outscore KD. Okay, who's Steph Garden? Who Garden Steph? Who's Steph Garden? Let's get back to the I point mean, that he don't got a guard. He average 86. No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so he ain't got a guard nobody. If, okay, you know, so what said, you know what we're saying? Y'all if, if we no. average, we average 86, right? But we was winning. How many did the other team average? I get, I get that. But okay, y'all, y'all team what we call self-check. Y'all was ch- checking yourself. Y'all average 86 points. Three of them dudes could get 86. If you let Clay, hey. Steph, and KD get on a heater, that is 87, 86, they win. You know why they had to do that? Because them motherfuckers couldn't play defense. You know, the main, the, they best they defender. They had a good defense, they best, they best defender was Andre Iguodala. It's Draymond. No, it was not Draymond. Not Dre, Dre is too little. He's little. He only about 6'5", six, 6'6". Six, six. Draymond got this between the ears. He's smart. Yeah, no, you know I'm not saying he's not. I know Dre's a smart player, but guess what? My basketball IQ, I know for sure, was higher than his when we were playing. So you mean to tell me, if you're guarding either one of them, either Steph or KD, you're going to give them the option to do whatever they want, or you going to force them one way? Yeah, they can go left, and they can go right. But what are you going to do? You could be right. Oh, wow. Okay, so force now, now that he said it that we're, way, I guess I, we're going to force him. You, you got to take saying, away something. to where we want him to go. So nine mm-hmm. times out of ten, you looking at it like, all right, if and Where's we speaking hypothetically, it? if they got the weakest shooter on in the right corner, all right. So we're going to force this pick and roll to the right because that's where we want that ball to go to that guy in the corner who's pretty much going to be the open man. We're going to try to force them to what we want them to do, not what they want to do on offense. Y'all heard this whole back and forth, man. So Rasheed Wallace on that clip, Rasheed Wallace is basically saying that they're going to have to guard. The other guy, Bonzi Wells, was saying, Steph Curry, who's going to guard him? And that's a very great question. That's a question still they need to be asked because I don't think Chauncey Billups can guard Steph. And on top of that, Rasheed Wallace is still standing on business. He's saying they can't beat us, man. We're going to force them to do what we want them to do instead of what they want to do. And Draymond Green is basically saying they're going to have to move. Y'all going to have to run. Y'all going to have to defend. Y'all going to have to come out. Rasheed Wallace and Ben Wallace going to have to come out the paint and actually guard. But, yeah, man, that's all I got on this, man. I appreciate y'all, and I love y'all. Hey, y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think, man. Let me know what you think and who you think would win, the 04 Pistons or the 2017 Warriors. Y'all let me know in the comments. I appreciate y'all, and I love y'all, man. Peace and love, family.